Hello, this is Dia Damson and today we are going to do a really cool colorful painting of a giraffe. I will have the traceable available for you on my Facebook page and it's absolutely free for use. And what I'm going to do now is sketch it really quickly. I am even leaving the parts where I'm correcting myself so you can see exactly um, how things are happening as I go. Um, I did speed up the video a little bit um, so it will go a little bit faster but if you are painting or sketching with me you can always pause the video and then continue when it's time. And from time to time I'm, I will stop talking so you can observe and I will use a few different ways to um, cover my canvas with watercolor and I will try to mention those when they come. And this is one of the parts that I had to just bring the eye a little bit um, down. So that was a correction and I wanted you to see that. Nothing is perfect. So the first thing I will do with this painting is start with the most important part. So we are painting an animal and one of the most important things in the animal will be the eye. So we want to make those like they're talking to us. I am only using black color, maybe slightly mixed with um, a little bit of blue. And the next part is I want to emphasize on the snout or the end of the nose. So with the black, I'm doing the nostrils and that is the only two places that I'm using black. After that, I will use wet on wet technique and drop colors in. I will leave the colors to mix on their own and if I don't like what's going on, I will go in and help a little bit either with a, a clean wet brush or um, bringing in another color. So this is a painting that you want to plan your colors a little bit ahead of time just so you know what colors mix well together and what they're creating after they mix. So this is the part where I use two really strong colors like the blue and that magenta red. Um, so I am sure I'm going to be painting the gir this giraffe quite a few times and I will try to choose a very strong color and not so strong color when I am trying to get them in, in the same area. So that will be my next um, kind of experiment or study of um, the painting that I'm going to be doing. So the next part, um, I'm going to do the ears and I will use a darker blue because I want to emphasize also on that area uh, because that area is going in and it's in a deeper shadow even though we're not using necessarily the colors and um, what will be in an actual painting because we're just making it a lot more fun than what it's in real life. And 
what I did here is a slight outline with a very pale color. So I'm going with much lighter colors on the head versus the neck and I do like that better than the really strong, strong colors on the bottom but I wanted to kind of give you the idea so I went into completely opposite directions with the colors. So I'm going in and emphasizing a little bit more on that area. I want that to stick out. trying here to move paint around um, so here in this area on the head I am adding color using obviously the color will make the paper wet so it's almost like wet on wet but I'm starting with a color not just water I'm going in and dropping another color right after. I'm emphasizing on the bridge of the nose because I want that also to seem like that's one area. So um, the reasoning me not making a lot of spots or separation between the top of the nose and the front of the face is that. So you see how well the uh, red and yellow play together and the blue and green. So that's a lot more calm combination of colors versus down on the neck where you have a really bright red, really strong color, magenta, and then that blue, which is a turquoise blue. So I'm going with the clean brush in this area and just um, getting a little bit of the color that it's um, around that white area move in to the white area so I don't want it to be a really starchy white.
So this was dry, wet on dry technique. So pretty much what I did is I applied a color and then I ran a clean brush over just to soften the edge. I will put a background on this. You don't have to because by itself it looks absolutely perfect, but I wanted to do that just to give you the idea of what and how can look and then you make your choice of do you want to do it and I will make both sides a little bit different so you can see So we have a little bit left to fill in the other space, but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. And if you're on Rumble, please don't forget to Rumble. Let me know how your painting turns out and if you want to see something else painted, I'll be happy to answer or do something for you guys. So here I'm just made the uh, canvas really wet on the other side and then drop paint in a few different ways. So one is by touching the brush and one was just by hitting the brush and splattering a little bit paint. Um, it is very uh, similar to either touch the canvas or just give a little bit of a splatter, at least to me. areas I want to fill in a little more. So I'm just running my brush around some of the colors, spreading them around. And that's it. So thanks for watching and happy painting. I'll see you soon. Bye.